Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lalit Desai and I'm a compositor. So today this tutorial is going to be an introduction to CG compositing. We are going to look at some of the very common CG passes and we are going to see how do we do an AOV rebuild in this. So this uh, topic is going to be divided into two parts. The one, uh, the first part will be where I'll, I'll be explaining how do we do an AOV, AOV rebuild and an overview of a lot of CG passes. And the second part will be using those geometry passes uh, to create mats and other stuff like adding motion blur or a vector blur and using defocus. So let's get started. Firstly, what are light groups? Light groups are basically the amount of lights or the number of lights that have been used in the 3D package to render out the CG. So the 3D package which I used is Clarice. So this is an RBD destruction if you see, which I did in Houdini. I uh, used the cache in Clarice to light the setup and I've used two lights in this. One is an IBL, which is an image based lighting and the other is a key light, which is an area light to light up uh, the screen right section of my CG. As you can see that there is a there is environment light coming in or the sunlight coming in from the screen right hand side. So let us go deep into the CG passes that I rendered. So this is the beauty. And this beauty has been broken down into light group zero and light group one. So these are the whole lot of passes that I rendered. These are the basic passes which you will get in production. So over here we have light group 0 and light group 1 and now these light groups are further broken down into direct and indirect passes for diffuse and specular respectively. So let us start, let us see the, these passes first. This is light group 0 and now I am doing a page down on my keyboard to view these passes from up to down. So this, uh, so this is my light group zero beauty. This is my direct diffuse. This is my direct specular, my indirect diffuse. If I expose up, you'll be able to see. And this is the indirect specular for light group zero. Similarly, we have these passes for light group one also. This is my light group one. That is my key light beauty. This is my diff uh, diffuse, direct diffuse, direct specular indirect diffuse and indirect specular. Along with that, we have diffuse, overall all diffuse if I, if, uh, I, if I have to rephrase. And I have direct passes, which, uh, which is the direct, all, the, all of the direct passes in my CG. These are the indirect passes, all the indirect. And we have a whole specular pass. So we are going to see uh, four types of AOV rebuilds, which I'll explain in a minute. Along with that, we have motion vector pass. We have a position reference pass, position world pass. We have a depth pass and we have a world normal pass. So all of these geometry passes, which I mentioned, so we are going to use these passes for uh, creating mats, uh, adding defocus adding motion blur and maybe to relight or you know do some relighting stuff. Also I uh, forgot to mention we have an incandescent pass which is just a bounce light which the objects are emitting. Uh, so let us go to the AOV rebuild now. Also along with this I have rendered shadows reflections for these objects. So this is PBR catcher. Basically, Clarice uh, has a material known as shadow catcher, which gives us these AOVs. Diffuse reflection, which is more, uh, which has more of roughness to its reflection. This is the glossy, which is like a mirror reflect, a sharp reflection. And the shadow pass. Now, if you see, this is an overall shadow pass, which combines both the light groups. Further, you can also break down the shadows into light group 0 and light group 1. But for this simple comp, I thought it won't be necessary. So I've rendered this as a whole. So let us dive into the comp and see how I've done that. 
let us first add the reflections and uh, shadows so this is my diffuse i have reduced some noise by adding a reduce noise node i have graded it made it slightly more visible distorted it now for distortion you can refer to my monolith tutorial as to how i how you can get a distortion from the lens that you shoot so i have done the lens solving and i've got the distortion values and i've used it so this is what you get next is glossy reflection so what i've done is i've taken the glossy reflection i've added some contrast a defocus by keeping the focal point over here to match to my scan small amount of cg blur to make it less sharp as we can see that in our scans or in our footage is nothing is as razor sharp then we have our opacity that is our shadows i've used this shadows as a mat to grade i've just slightly increased the intensity used a defocus and then graded it so i've matched the blacks of these shadows to the beneath area of my sofa or my bed using a simple color correct node now let us go to our aov rebuild so as i mentioned there are four types of aov rebuilds that you can do so the first one is where we combine our direct and indirect passes so our ultimate focus will be to combine these and match it to our and see that if they match to our beauty or not so i have combined both of these passes these match to my beauty let me just switch off the unpremulate over here okay so this combination matches to my beauty so this is correct i have my diffuse and specular which i have combined and this also matches to my beauty so that is fine now the light group rebuilt where i've taken the light groups shuffled the light, uh, light groups and the emission pass that is the incandescent pass i have merged them and this matches to my beauty so that is fine the most important one is this light group aov rebuilt what i've done is i've splitted the light groups in these four parts which i rendered direct diffuse direct specular and direct diffuse indirect specular i have merged them and i need to match it to my light group 0 so this matches so we have a successful rebuild similarly for for light group 1 i have merged this, this and if this matches to my light group 1 then we are going the right way yes it does so we are going the right way then incandescent finally i'll merge the incandescent in and this should match to a beauty it does so we are on the right track now if you see i've plussed everything so i have lost the alpha so i have just copied the alpha from my beauty over here and we have a premult so before color correcting as if if you have seen my previous tutorials you should add an unpremult and premult to avoid getting black edges so this is a motion vector motion blur uh, applied to get reduced uh, noise in my motion blur if you see a very small amount of motion blur is reduced by adding vector blur and we are using the motion vector in this so we'll dive deep into these uh, sections in the next part i've added a defocus to small cg blur will do and finally a distortion and then and a remove node to just keep the uh, rgba so we have two options remove and keep but i'm ke so i'm keeping the rgba and finally i have my comp so this method is most preferred in production as this gives you a lot of control in very rare occasions or sometimes you can use this method also uh, if you are if your cg is not that heavy and you just have one object then this might do so this is the first pass that you present before your lead or supervisor or whoever is responsible for your shots delivery so this is how we do an aov rebuild okay and if you have any doubts or comments regarding the aov rebuilds you can comment down below and uh 
stay tuned for my part 2 which i'm going to upload very soon and in that i'll be explaining how to create mats how to use vector blur and how to use the depth channel to create defocus so that's it for now guys thank you so much for watching and stay tuned